Hello guys, this is your Sir Ariel and for this video we are going to um, discuss how to find the um, angle between two curves. So another application of derivatives. Okay, so before we proceed to our examples, we try to analyze first um, this graph and then from here, mapapalabas natin yung formula natin, okay? How to find the angle between two curves, okay? So, ano yung curve na yun, class? Assuming this is a curve 1, okay? And then this is the another curve. So, itong curve 1, that is your y um, equals f of 1 of x, okay? Yung first function natin. And then this another here, so that is your y or that is your curve 2, so that is your f function, uh, yung f of 2x. So, ibig sabihin, um, the second function. Ngayon, class, um, yung point of intersection nila, merong tangent lines yan. ba? Yung tangent line ni, ni first function natin, ni curve 1 natin, and then yung tangent line ni curve 2 natin, syempre mag-meet din sila dun sa point of intersection nung tangent natin. Ito ngayon class, dito natin kukunin yung angle nitong two curves na to. So parang ang dating nun is angle between these two tangent lines ng mga curves natin. Okay? And then given these two tangent line class, um, ang makukuha natin dito is either acute angle and an obtuse angle. So dalawa makukuha natin pala. Okay? Acute angle and obtuse angle and they are supplementary to one another. So if they are supplementary to one another, that is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? Yung angle na kukunin natin assuming this is your angle. Okay? Yung acute angle natin. Pangalan natin siyang phi. Yung angle class ni curve 2, okay? Ay ni angle Okay, this is, ito yung class, diba? Diba, this is curve 1. So, meron tayong angle, uh, meron tayong tangent line dyan. Ang angle nyan is si theta 1. Okay? Itong curve 2 natin, class, ito yung tangent line nya. So, pangalan natin itong tangent, uh, theta 2. Ngayon, class, itong acute angle natin sa taas, yung angle between the two curves, ay the two lines, yeah, two tangent lines, Okay, it's just kung i-interpret mo, ba itong kabuuan nito class, that is your theta 2. Tama? And then, itong maliit na to class, that is your theta 1. So, ibig sabihin class that your phi is equal to theta 2 minus your theta 1. So, dyan natin i-derive yung formula natin. So, kunin natin yung tangent ng both sides class. So, tangent... Phi equals the tangent of your theta 2 minus theta sub 1. So, applying yung um, um, trigonometric identities natin, okay, difference of two angles ng tangent, so that is just equal to tangent phi now class is equal to your tangent theta 2 minus tangent theta sub 1 all over 1 plus tangent theta 2, then tangent theta 1. Okay? And then, we let the T class, okay, as the slope of the um, functions. Okay? So, itong tangent theta 2 class, that is the, tan um, the slope of the function 1, and then the, uh, function 2, and then theta 1 class is the slope of function 1. So, ang slope natin is nasusulat as letter M, di ba? So, papalitan ko ngayon tong tangent theta 2 class ng M sub 2, tangent theta 1 ng M sub 1. So, ten, tan phi now is M2 minus M1 all over 1 plus M2 and M1. Okay? Ngayon, dalawa ang pwedeng lumabas dyan na sagot class. If, okay, if tangent phi is lesser than 0, the answer class is, ay, the angle is obtuse. If tangent phi is greater than 0, the angle na makukuha natin is acute. Okay? And then, most of the books class, 
uh, most discussions, ang laging kinukuha is the acute angle. That means um, that the tan phi should be greater than zero. So, pag greater than zero, that means it should be positive. Anyway, same lang ang makukuha naman dito class. Either um, negative or positive lang siya. So, ang kukunin lang natin is the positive one. So, pag makuha natin yung positive one class, Okay, kunin natin si absolute value para makuha natin si positive na value. Ngayon, sir, paano pag ang tinanong is obtuse? Since sabi natin kanina that yung acute angle and then yung obtuse angle are supplementary and if it is supplementary, equals 180. So, magsusubtract ka lang ay, um, ng 180. I mean, yung acute angle na masasob natin, isubtract natin from 180 and then yun na yung obtuse angle. Yun yung isang angle nung ating uh, curves. Okay? Yung between the two curves. So, ito yung magiging formula natin or guide natin. So, una na naman, kukunin natin ang slopes natin. Slope ni first function and then slope ni second function and then balikan natin ito. Okay? So, let's try these examples. So, example 1. Find the acute angle of the intersection between the curves. So, yung 1 natin class is x squared y. So, we have curve 1. So, letter A tayo. Okay? So, curve 1 natin is x squared equals 8y. And then, curve 2 natin is xy equals 8. Or, function 1 natin is x squared equals 8. Function 2 natin is xy equals 8. Ngayon, kailangan muna natin kunin ang kanilang point of intersection. Saan sila nag-meet? Okay? Saan sila nag-meet na dalawa? Okay? Yung point of intersection nila. So, paano yon? Gawin natin is, ayusin natin to class na um, explicit wherein same, yung function niya is isa-substitute natin mamaya sa kabila. Okay? Anong ibig kong sabihin? Example dito, kunin ko in terms of y class. So, y equals x squared all over a. Di ba? Parehas lang siya. Ngayon, para makuha ko yung value ni x, isubstitute ko yung value ng y natin sa ating curve 2. So, magiging x now class is equal to y is equal to x squared all over 8 equals 8. We simplify. So, that is x cubed. Okay? x cubed equals 64. So, cube root ni x cube, cube root ni 64, cancel, cancel, x is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin class, ang point of intersection natin, kay ang x mo is 4. Ngayon, kunin pa natin si y. Ngayon, tong x, since may x ka na class, kahit saan mo na i-substitute tong value ni x, kay curve 1, kay curve 2, okay lang, parehas lang yon. Okay? So, since meron na tayo dito, substitute ko na lang siya dyan. So, y now is equal to 4 squared all over 8. And that is equal to, ano yan class? 4 squared divided by 8. That is equal to 2. Okay? So, 4 and 2. Ibig sabihin class, si curve 1 natin na x squared equals 8y. And then si xy equals 8. Mag-meet at point 4, 2. Doon ang point of intersection nila. Now, kunin na natin ang slope 1 natin and slope 2. So, to solve for the slope 1 and slope 2, di ba kunin natin ang first derivative and then isubstitute natin yung value ng ating um, x and y. So, uh, slope 1. Okay? M1 is equal to, kunin mo natin yung first derivative nito, si x squared equals 8y. So, two, eh, derivative ng x squared is 2x equals 8y is 8y prime. So, y prime now is equal to um, x all over 4. Makansel ka man sila is 2. Uh, kaya maging 1 over 4 or x all over 4 na lang siya. Tama ba? Okay. So, ang slope ni 1 class is equal to x over 4. So, that substitute natin yung value ni x natin which is 4. So, 4 all over 4 is equal to 1. So, m1 natin is equal to 1. Next, m2. Okay? So, kunin natin ang derivative ni xy equals 8. So, product rule, 
u derivative ni v plus v derivative ni x is 1 equals 0. So y prime is equal to negative y all over x. Okay? So negative y, ang slope na natin ngayon class, m2, negative y is negative 2 all over x which is 4 is negative 1 half. Tama? Okay. And then, kunin na natin si Engal. So, tan phi is equal to the absolute value of your m2 minus m sub 1 all over 1 plus m2 m1. So, phi now is equal to, tuloy lang natin, m2 that is negative 1 half minus m1 that is 1 all over 1 plus m2 negative 1 half times m1 that is 1 slope value. So tan phi and that is equal to tan phi. Okay, use your calculator now to solve for that. Ang makukuha mo dyan is um, absolute value of negative 3. Okay, so Absolute value ng negative 3 is equal to 3. So, tan phi is equal to 3. So, para makuha natin si phi class, so tan inverse or that is the arc tan, okay, magiging arc tan of 3 and that is equal to, shift tan yan sa calculator, arc tan or yan yung ganyan sa calculator yan class, so, tan negative 1 of 3. So, that is equal to, 71.56 degrees. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Let's try yung second example. So, we have here, an example natin? Um, x squared y plus 4y equals 8 and then x squared y equals 4. So, another implicit. Pero madali lang yan. Okay? So, ano yung given doon? x squared y so, curve 1 natin is x squared y plus 4y equals 8. And then, curve 2 natin is x squared y equals 4. So, ano yung una natin gagawin class? Kunin natin yung point of intersection nila. So, ano yung point of intersection nila? So, una, ay, ito maganda na class kasi may x squared y to, may x squared y to wherein that is equal to 4. So, gawin natin class, palitan ko si x squared y ng 4. So, from here, palitan ko na yan ng 4. So, maging 4 plus plus 4y, okay, equals 8. So, 4y equals 8. 8 minus 4 divided by 4 divided by 4. So y is minus 4 divided by 4. 1. Okay, mayroon ka ng value ni y. And then substitute ko dito para makuha ko si value ni x. So x squared times 1 equals 4. So x squared equals 4. Square root, square root. Cancel, cancel. x is equal to Two. So, ang point of intersection nila dalawa class ay sa 2 and 1. Okay? So, yun ang first step. You get the point of intersection. Their points of intersection. So, next step, kunin natin si M1 natin. So, kunin natin ang first derivative ng ating um, give, um, function. Okay? Ni curve 1. So, product rule, u derivative ni v plus v derivative ni u that is x squared, so that is 2x, okay? Plus derivative ni 4y, that is 4y prime, equals derivative ni 8 is 0. So, y prime equals um, x squared plus 4 equals negative 2xy, transpose ko sa right, itong nasa gitna. So, divided by x squared plus 4, divided by x squared plus 4. Cancel. Okay? So, ang slope na natin, substitute ko na ngayon plus yung value ng ating x and y sa ating first derivative. So, magiging m1 now. 
Okay, is negative 2 times ano ang x natin is 2 times y natin is 1 all over ang x natin is 2. So, 2 is squared plus 4. So, that is negative 2 times 2. Okay, divided by 2 squared is 4 so 8. That is negative 1 half. Tama ba? Slope 1 natin is negative 1 half. X natin is 2. Y natin is Y. 2XY. X squared. Tama. Negative 1 half. Negative 1 half. Okay. And then, slope 2 natin is equal to, okay, ito, x squared y, so u derivative ni v plus v derivative ni u, that is 2x equals 0. Okay, magiging y prime now is equal to negative 2xy all over x squared. So, ang slope 2 natin is negative 2 times x natin is 2. Magkata na po ako dito na slope 1 is ano? 1. Negative 2. one is squared. Ano ba? Wait lang ha. Iayos lang natin. X squared U derivative ni V plus Y derivative to X then first 4 Y prime equals 0. Okay, correct? Then nilabas natin si Y prime X squared plus 4. Okay, correct? Negative 2 X Y correct. X squared. Okay, X squared. Okay, correct. Yung point of intersection natin um, that is Mm, tayo yung pare x is equal to 2. Okay, sakto lang. Okay, number slope 2 x is 2 then y is 1. All over x is squared that is x is 2 is squared and that is equal to ilan? Negative 2 times 2 divided by 4 negative 1. Okay? So your m2. So next Gawin na natin yung arc tan natin. So, yung angle natin, ito na yung M2 natin, no? So, 4 is yung solving for the angle. So, tan phi now is equal to your M2 minus M1 all over 1 plus M2 M1. So, ang M2 natin is negative 1 minus M1 negative 1 half all over 1 plus negative 1 times negative 1 half. Absolute value. So that is shift and shift abs negative 1 minus negative 1 half all over 1 plus negative 1 times negative 1 half. Syntax error Negative 1 1 third Okay So tan Phi is equal to 1 third So Inverse natin yan Magiging phi now is um, R tan of 1 third So inverse tan of 1 third and that is equal to shift tan of answer 18.43 degrees. Okay? So that is the answer. Hope you learned something from this video.